in Delhi you have the epitome of the embassy because you have not only the chancery, you have a residence and officers accommodation, so you have the entire embassy, so to speak, in one place. After seeing a number of residences, at the time my husband was acting ambassador, I, I thought, well, it really should be chronicled somewhere. Delhi's Diplomatic Domains is a book that for the very first time chronicles the establishment of diplomatic relations between India and 46 different countries. And it also happens to have a lot about the architectural developments at the time and the interiors and landscaping. One that started the whole process was the, the Polish ambassador's residence. I was completely unprepared for an Art Deco building in, in New Delhi and when I saw that building, I, I decided that this thing had to be done. Surprisingly for a lot of people, the photos for the book were captured within a space of only two and a half weeks. We did 30 embassies, 35 I think it is, embassies in, in that space of time because I wanted it to be when the blossoms were in their full splendor. Because these are, are buildings and spaces that most people are not privy to, I really wanted to give the reader the feeling of entering these spaces as a visitor. To feel that one was actually walking in, was taking a seat at a table, was feeling very much as part of the space. I think that because of my background, both of my parents were foreign service officers and my husband is one and I've been in both capacities for all my life now, we're talking about 50 years. I, uh, I have been exposed to these domains. I recognized that New Delhi was, was something unique and so I wanted to read that book and it wasn't there, so I wrote it.